Hey guys, this is Natalie with Treasures Mini. Today we're going to be making this really, really cute little monkey flip card. Um, I used my Sizzix die, um, the diamond flip card to make uh, die to make this. I'm sorry. And I'm going to show you a really easy way um, to be able to make the panels for it on the inside. Um, now I had already cut my card, but I still laid it out to show you anyway. So the tan piece would have, is my card base. And then I picked two papers that I knew that I was going to use as well. And I laid them over it too, kind of deciding uh, which paper was going to be over which panels that I wanted. And then I just put a piece of painter's tape over it and ran it all through my machine again. And as you can see, I've got different pieces and um, you can just cut them. So I'm going ahead and folding the card and using my bone folder to make good creases. And then we're going to um, go ahead and choose which panels we want to go over um, the card in the proper pieces. And we're going to adhere those down. So I'm using a Martha Stewart glue pen. I really, really like this thing. And for some reason, I used it on almost this entire card. I just guess I was on a glue pen kick. Um, as you can see, I did trim off a little bit of the panels to where the base of the card was showing a little bit on the top and the bottom, but you'll notice later on that disappears. I decided I didn't like it, so I just trimmed the card down. So I pulled it back just a little bit around the diamond part so that the base of the card would show a little bit. So I just used my um, cutter and also trimmed the sides of the card as well. I'm also going to run my bold and folder over those sides where I trimmed it just because it helps it lay down and make it just a little bit more flat. It kind of makes it seem like all one piece. <clears throat> now I'm going to take the, uh, the diamond piece and I decided I want it to, to be brown on the inside so I'm putting my, using my glue pen again and going to glue that into the center of the card. Now let's set that aside and let's do a little stamping. I'm going to stamp the monkey in a Memento uh, Espresso Truffle ink and I am going to be coloring with my Copics. Now, because those little arms and stuff were so small, I kept having problems with it um, kind of running. So I decided to use my Copic Multiliner and I actually did the the main part of his body and his head with the little Multiliner and it allowed me to be a lot more detailed and then I took after I got all of that colored in I did take my E31 and I did his belly um, feet and hands and the kind of well it's not a nose I don't know the, the bigger part of his face I guess with the E31 and then with the E04 I did the inside of his ears and a little bit of his nose and then with the E29 I just did the very very tops of just some hair on the top and then I took a gel black gel pen and kind of made his eyes and his mouth a little more pronounced and I am going to fussy cut this out well no not exactly and I'm sorry I'm not on the screen I am going to leave a white edge around because it's going to help him pop out against the the brown so as you can see I I mean, I followed the contour, but I did not really fussy cut. And we're not going to put him in just yet, but I just want to see how he looks. Now we're going to set that aside and we're going to do some embossing. So uh, that was my powder tool that I just used over a piece of scratch paper. Um, you can tell it kind of looks like the card. Um, I'm going to be, I'm using my Versamark and I'm going to stamp the sentiment, guess what? And I'm going to use a really pretty, um, it looks red on here, but it's a really kind of rust orange sunburst kind of color that I'm going to emboss that with. Um, it's real, real pretty. And here I cut it out as close as I possibly could because I'm going to use a different piece of paper to kind of outline from behind it. As you can see, I, I cut an angle on one end and I picked the piece up that came off and I matched it up to the other end and then I'm cutting again. That allows me to get the exact same angle on both sides. Blue piece that I'm going to put behind the sentiment that says, guess what? And I'm just going to cut the ends at the exact same time by putting them together and then I get the exact same angle. Now, I couldn't find a die to uh, go behind my sentiment. Um, so my heart punch was just sitting right there and I thought, wow, I kind of like the tops of the heart. And so I put the paper in from the bottom and cut and 
that's what I got. And I really, really liked it. So I did the other side. And then that is going to be the base for my sentiment. I thought it was really, really clever. And I really like the way it comes out. Now, how about an applique? Yep, that's right. This is an applique monkey, and I thought that I would glue the monkey down to the inside of the diamond. So when you flip it open, he was hanging from a vine. Um, he had a little piece of sticky left on the back of him from being in the package, and I just kind of used that to, um, that's not, I'm not leaving it that way. It's just to kind of place him so I can see if he's going to fit and all that good stuff. And it looks like he does. So, so now, um, there was also a stamp of a banana in their stamp set. So I'm going to stamp three bananas with my Memento um, Espresso Truffle ink. And then I'm going to color those with some Copics as well. And I'm using Y13 and Y15. There's not a lot you can do with it. It's really small, but I also took a yellow gel pen and just kind of added it like on just a few spots on the each banana. Just it kind of makes it like a shiny. These are three strips that I also took from the same pack of paper that matches along with the rest of the paper. And I just put a tiny bit of adhesive on the back of them just to hold them in place for a minute. I went on and used my powder tool um, and I'm kind of pointing out right there that I need to get my words behind that area because I don't want it to stick out around the card when the card's closed. So I just um, used first mark and stamped I am and then the bananas are going to go on the brown one and now I am using the versa mark to stamp um, I am bananas over you. So now I'm going to take some white and I'm going to heat emboss the I am and the over you. And now we're going to put it all together. So when I did the bananas earlier, I did fussy cut around them, which at first I thought was going to be really bad, but it was, it actually went really quick and it wasn't hard at all. So I'm just kind of like intertwining them on here. And once again, I still do not have these glued down. You can see I'm moving it around. I want to make sure that it's just right and it doesn't show through. And it was, so I did go ahead and, and, um, use some adhesive and I put those down permanently and now I'm taking this vine and I'm using some memento ink um, it's called bamboo leaves and it's in the little dew drops make sure you I almost stamped it without putting down a piece of scratch paper because I don't want the little bit of the vine to go over so I did this um, on both sides of the card on the left hand side and I had it go all the way down to the orange piece but on the other side, you can see I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it in the little small side of the diamond on the other side. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to color these in using um, two Wink of Stella pens. It's going to be the green and the light green. And I'm also going to use a distress marker um, for the vine. And... Let's see, what color am I going to use? I'm going to use Vintage Photo. Yep, for the vine. And like I said, I just used the Wink of Stella, Wink of Stella, Wink of Stella. Wink of Stella. I just kind of did some shading and, you know, the Wink of Stella gives it a little bit of shine. Now I'm going to take some glossy accents and I'm going to use that to ad adhere the monkey to the inside of the card. And after you do that, you are going to want to set it aside and let it dry a little bit before you move on. While this is drying, though, I am going to take some foam tape and I'm going to put it on the back of my sentiment that says, guess what? And I'm going to stick that onto the front of the piece. Um, you can see it right over my hand that we cut with the heart punch. And then I'm just going to use some regular adhesive to attach the entire thing to the front of the card. So the only part that sticks up is the guess what part. Now I'm going to take the monkey and I'm going to make sure I get him placed in the, the right place. Because you want to make sure, that you just kind of hold it there and open and close your card. Because you want to make sure that you don't put him over too far that the card won't flip open. 
and this looks like a good spot so I'm just going to use some of my glue pin and I glued it down back there. Now you can see I made two little hole punches. Um, I did it in my last video. Um, I use it to hold my twine in place so it doesn't slide all around. And I'm just going to take some twine and I'm going to wrap it around a few times and make sure it goes in those little slots. And I'm going to tie it in a knot first and then I'm going to um, I don't know, like thread the end of the twine through a green button and then tie my bow on top of the button. And here I'm putting a glue dot on the back of the button and the twine so that I can flip it over and push it down to the front of the card and it'll stay really good and I don't have to worry about it moving around. I think that's really cute. Now this was um, some little monkey flowers that I had from a scrapbook set uh, for scrapbooking and I thought this bottom corner just needed something and so it's just a little um, like chipboard flower. So I put some adhesive on the back of it and I'm going to stick it in this corner. And now I'm going to take some enamel dots. I've got greens, oranges, and blues and I'm just going to randomly put them out on the front of the card until I like what I got. And then after I get these adhered down, I am also going to take my Wink of Stella pen and I'm going to color the entire um, little monkey with the Wink of Stella clear so that it just puts glitter on him. And then I'm going to take some glossy accents and put it over that. So he'll be nice and shiny and raised up a little bit from the glossy accents, but, but because I put the Wink of Stella down first, it'll give him just a little bit of glitter. Now, somehow I didn't record it, but I did also take my white pen and I put little dash lines around it and you'll be able to see where that is in the, the pictures at the end. But here is the card and I just think it is so, so, so cute. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. I should have another video coming soon. Thanks guys. Bye.